Hi, welcome to Thursday Storytime. Today we will be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl and Thor Flutterby by Karen Kingsbury. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, then nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. The next book we're going to read is Far Flutterby by Karen Kingsbury. One day in the town of Better Than Brown, Cody the caterpillar crawled on the ground, feeding and inching his way through the day. His spirits were low and the heavens were gray. I wonder, he said, as he inched up a tree, if there's more to life than just branches and leaves. Then right at that moment, a bird came along, Beulah Lee Bird with a beautiful song. I'm from the land of Far Flutterby where God has good plans for his creatures to fly. The plans include you, so have faith and you'll see. Then Beulah Lee Bird flew off joyfully. Cody the caterpillar 
called as she left. Come back here and tell me. Please don't make me guess. But what sort of plans could be come or begin for a lowly land rover with prickly skin? See, all around Cody, the caterpillars ate. They ate and they ate and they ate and they ate. Boring, said Cody. This life isn't grand. I need to find far flutter by. That's a great land. So he crawled up the tree and squirmed to the top. And what he saw there made his wing, wingly, wiggly heart stop. Then just as he glimpsed that remarkable place, A windy windstorm knocked him flat on his face. But when he looked up, Cody saw a great sight, a magnificent creature soaring in flight. Who, Cody asked, and just what kind are you? Where did you come from, so pretty and new? My name, she exclaimed, is Franny McFly. I come from the land of far Flutterby, where brown becomes blue and yellow and gold, where life is a daydream that never grows old. Further, said Franny, you really should go. It's God's plan for you. And I think you should know, there's more to this life than crawling and eating, more to this life than sitting and sleeping. You need to be patient. You need to hold on. You'll find a way there. And with that, she was gone. Eager to travel to far flutter by. Cody needed some wings. He needed to fly. So he strapped on some leaves and he jumped all around. But his flight sent him spiraling down to the ground. Then, in a heap, thought, then in a heap, he thought life could be tricky, upside down, sideways, and pokey and prickly. So he held on to hope because that's what he'd heard from Franny McFly and Beulah Lee Bird. Okay, Cody said, if there really are plans for me to find more than I have in this land, when will it happen and how will I know? Because here I'm still boring, still wrinkly, still slow. But the very next day, Cody had a strange feeling. It made him feel dizzy and wobbly and reeling, spinning and spinning by sun and by moon until he was wrapped in a sticky cocoon. He hung upside down in the shade of a leaf. That's where he stayed for nearly three weeks. All hope was lost. He was downer than down, stuck there forever and better than brown. Until one sunny day, he awoke with a start, and something shot straight through his wiggly heart. I can't give up hope. I have to believe. So he shouted and shook with his head to his knees. Then he wriggled and squiggled and jiggled about, juggling and buggling for any way out. 
He was so very stuck, he was sweaty and sore, for nothing had ever been this hard before. But that's when poor Cody remembered the words of Franny McFly and Beulah Lee Bird. God's plans are good, so have faith and you'll see. Then he struggled and struggled. And finally broke free. Now something was different. The, the heavens were blue, and Cody's old body was bursting brand new. He stretched and he flexed, and he shook out the crinkles. He felt so much lighter without all the wrinkles. He looked round behind him, and there, here, there of all things, were beautiful, bountiful, wondrous... Wings! Cody fluttered his wings and he flew off the ground and his flight took him high above better than brown. He struggled and pl had placed him in far flutter by and Cody was now a bright new butterfly. With colors of blue and yellow and gold, Cody's wonderful life would never grow old, for these were God's plans just as good as the word of Franny McFly and Beulah Lee Bird. Cody called to his friends as he dipped and he soared, how thanks to the hard times for leaving and more, but there on the journey and stuck in the sting, the struggle, the struggle is what gives you wings. Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you enjoyed your books. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.